Alright, so a group of primary 6 students counted the number of plants and animals in the school pond. They drew a bar chart based on the data collected as shown below. So there are 6 different characteristics that you need to look out for. So plants have floating, partially submerged, submerged, animals have no legs, 6 legs and more than 6 legs. So let's just write, quickly write down the numbers. So in terms of floating plants, I have 10, I have 12, I have 10, I have 11, I have 15, and I have 4. So let's look at the question. So what are the following statements about the plants and animals? Is R correct? Again, write down your true and false at the end of each statement. So there are 30 populations of animals. So what is a population? It is a group of organisms of the same kind in the entire life cycle. So the thing is, we know that there are floating plants, there are partially submerged plants, but within floating plants, there can be two or three types of floating plants, right? Uh, there can be two or three types of partially submerged plants. There can be a few types of submerged plants or a few types of no legs animals, a few types of six legs animals. So the point is, we don't know how many populations are there. We don't know how many different kind of organisms are there. So this statement is a question mark and uh, therefore it is a false because we don't know. Now there is at least six populations of plants and animals. So if you count it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And if they are all, if let's say there's only one kind of floating plant, only one kind of partially submerged, only one kind of submerged, then and there's only one of each, then yes, there is at least six. There can be more than six because there can be a few kind of animals with six legs or a few kind with more than six legs, but there is at least six kinds. Uh, at, there is at least six populations. So this is true. The number of floating plants and submerged plants are equal. So if you look at floating plants, if you look at submerged plants, they are both at uh, 10. So therefore, this statement is also true. So the answer is B and C, which is number 3. Now let's take a look at this question. So Gupta counted the number of organisms in a particular habitat and recorded the data in the table below. So we need to count the number of organisms, count the number of uh, uh, population as well as the number of communities. So based on the table above, which one of the following is correct? Now, before we even do look at the answers, right, let's count it properly. So water lily is one of the population. Duckweed is two because duckweeds are different from water lilies. Guppies are three. Dragonfly nymph is four. And dragonflies is also four because Dragon, they are the same uh, life under the same life cycle, same kind of organisms. So that's one population. So wrigglers are baby mosquitoes or pupas, and mosquitoes are also five. So in this, there is there are five populations of organisms living in one community. All right, so the community, this looks likely to be a pond community. So let's look at the question. Based on the table above, which one of the following is correct? Again, I want to see your true, false at the end of each statement. So there are five communities. This is false because there's only one community, which is one place where the population stays. There is one community with five populations. This is true because there's one communi community with five population. There are 40 populations living in a habitat. So this is false. I suppose 40 is when you add up all this together. So that's not 40 populations. It's 40 organisms living in this habitat. There are seven populations with a total of 40 organisms. So if you are not sure what is a population, then you would say that there are seven over here and seven populations, which is false. Because you cannot consider dragonfly nymph and dragonflies as one as two separate populations. Okay, so the answer therefore is two. 
which is the one community with five populations. So always remember community is greater than population. So community is made up of populations of organisms and populations of organisms is made up of of course individual organisms and individual organisms are made up of the different parts of the life cycle of the organisms so remember this so community populations make up a community uh, organisms make up a population and the different parts of the life cycle of a organism make up the population of the organism